When the world is disrupted, your influence is the first casualty. Leaders are struggling to engage their teams. People feel they don't have a voice and there's the extreme pressure of being thrust into the spotlight of a crisis on a very public stage. Hi, I'm Neryl East. How can leaders really have impact with those they need to influence, including their teams? How can they reach people in a way that shifts their thoughts, beliefs and actions? Well, that's where I come in. It might be having a conversation with a team member that's really sensitive, or having a meeting with a client that isn't going so well. It might even be speaking to your whole community or perhaps doing a media interview. And would you agree in the incredibly turbulent times we've been through and looking to a future that's brimming with hope, but also filled with uncertainty, we're going to be facing more and more spotlight situations. Uh, Dr. Neryl East is a communications expert. Thanks for being on the program, Doctor. You're welcome. Great to be here. Neryl East is a communications expert and author and joins me now. Neryl, welcome. Thanks so much for having me on the program. In my presentations and workshops, I show leaders how to be heard, to stand out and to command influence, whether they're talking to someone in the same room or on the other side of the globe. The reality is that you are operating now in a reputation-driven economy where how people perceive you and your business and your events and what they then pass on to others is actually more important than what you think you do. Communication and influence are critical skills for every leader. In my keynotes and workshops, I take people from being ineffective in their communication to compelling, clear and influential. And it's not all serious. We have a lot of fun along the way. You're not necessarily going to get it every time, but just having that picture, again, is going to give you inspiration. It's going to make you walk taller. It's going to change your body language, your tone of voice, your words. During a year of crisis like we've had, they're pushed to their limit. They're looking to you. They're looking to you, their trusted local voice, to make sense of it to them. And so what are you doing to make sure that you understand who you're talking to? My background is in television, so I've got all those years of broadcast experience. That means that whether your event is in front of a live audience, and I've spoken before 20,000 people as an announcer at the Olympics, or if it's in a studio, or a studio with a live audience, I've got a lot of experience across all those environments. You have a choice about how you level up as a leader, especially in spotlight situations. My final tip is look at those two areas, character and competence, and decide which one of those you're going to build up to strengthen your influence. Because if you put those two together, people will only say amazing things about you. And that is how you ignite your influence.